This is an overview of the logarithmic detector for the Scotty Spectrum Analyzer project. This device takes a filtered incoming 10.7 megahertz IF signal and converts it to a representative uh, DC voltage based on the uh, input power level. It operates from approximately negative 100 dBm to plus 10 dBm. Uh, that corresponding voltage then is about uh, 0.4 volts for negative 100 dBm and uh, 2.4 volts for plus 10 dBm. And the only major change I added was adding a 20 dB directional coupler to tap the incoming 10.7 MHz IF signal and sends it to a SMA jack here. Uh, by tapping this uh, uh, IF signal we can send it off to an external FM or AM demodulator and that will turn the uh, spectrum analyzer into a FM receiver or a communications receiver. It's just a handy little addition you might want to add. The logarithmic uh, detector is an analog device is 80, 8306. Um, it is a surface mount device and I did add a little uh, SOP to dip carrier board just to ease the construction. This black device right here is a uh, impedance matching transformer. The 808306 has a thousand ohms input impedance. And we, of course we need to match that back to our 50 ohms input impedance. DC output is then sent to this uh, yes, panel mount SMA jack right here. This will go off to the uh, analog to digital converter stage, which I haven't constructed yet. Uh, there is a single filter capacitor. It should be a low leakage, non-microphonic uh, film type capacitor that just kind of cleans up the uh, DC voltage signal a little bit. Here's an overview of the schematic. The input is 50 ohms and we need to use a matching transformer. I'm using a mini circuits T16-1. This is a uh, 16, 1 to 16 ohm ratio uh, transformer. The primary, pins 6 and 4 is the primary. It has a, a 1 turns ratio. The secondary is pins 3, 1 and 3. It has a 4 turns ratio. This uh, 1 to 4 turns ratio corresponds to a 1 to 16 impedance ratio. So a 50 ohm impedance on the primary transforms into an 800 ohm impedance on the secondary. Since the 80-8306 is at 1,000 ohms. We're putting a parallel 3.9K resistor to kind of lower the uh, input impedance just a tad to match it at 800 ohms to the 800 ohms of the uh, secondary uh, impedance. There is a slight power loss to that uh, matching, but it's uh, minimal. We don't have to really worry about it. The 80-8306 should be run off of, of a separate uh, or filtered power lines. This uh, pin 2 has its own uh, decoupling network and pin 15 also has its own decoupling network. This just kind of uh, isolates the uh, uh, power stage, the amplifier power stage from any uh, noise created in the final uh, output amplifier. This uh, device has a limited it's called a limited IF output. Essentially it's a square wave equivalent of the incoming signal. This is used in the vector network analyzer option for the Scotty Spectrum Analyzer project. Uh, it's uh, recommended that you add this, but it is optional and it can create noise. So it ha should run it at the minimum output current and that's set by this current uh, limiting resistor right here, which is 390 ohms in this case. Um, of course we want all these uh, Oh, this is the uh, DC output, the meg volts. This is the DC representation of the input RF power. There's a slight little low-pass filter here just to clean up any noise. We want the, all these uh, output signals well shielded to create, uh, prevent any sparse uh, images from being displayed. I have a uh, signal generator set up, 10.7 megahertz. I'm going to step from negative 100 dBm to plus 10 dBm, and you can kind of watch it on the, uh, this is a voltmeter up here that's connected to the megavolts output. 
oscilloscope over here is limited to IF output. You'll be able to kind of compare the. Uh, you'll be able to see the output of the limited IF on uh, the oscilloscope over here, and the watch to be able to watch the DC uh, output on the uh, meter here. Well, first, here's with a 50 ohm load. So that will be your minimum 0 0.370 volts, approximately, is your minimum signal level. That has been open. It's just a random baseline. Now I have a negative 100 dBm signal connected. You can see it went up a little in voltage, 0 0.375, 374, say. I'm going to begin stepping through the power levels now. It is 90, negative 90 dBm. Every time you hear a little click, that's going to be a 1 dB increment. negative 80 dBm. You're going to want, want to watch the oscilloscope screen now. The limiting should kick in in the next uh, 10 dB. That is negative 70 dBm. We got a square wave of approximately uh, 51.5 millivolts. negative 60 dBm. Negative 50 dBm. Negative 40 dBm. Negative 30 dBm. Negative 20 dBm. Negative 10 dBm. Zero dBm. And that is plus 10 dBm.